Hi there, my name is Aaron and welcome to The Call of Cinema. It's a very special day today that I get to review a soundtrack, which I haven't done in a while. So there is a new soundtrack coming up from Howling Wolf Records. Um, I was lucky enough to be reached out to by uh, Andrew Scott Bell, the uh, the composer. And uh, I was uh, sent a link to a basically a... Uh, the, the soundtrack to to listen to it for uh, for review purposes. And I have to say right now, uh, well, let's dive into this one. So it's Psycho Storm Chaser, and it is 37 tracks. So there is a ton of stuff on here. The, the soundtrack itself has 20 tracks, but this is where it gets really interesting. This is where it gets really different. I'm going to go back to... Actually, no, let's start with that, because there's there's extra tracks, and I want kind of want to dive into what's done and what I think is genius about this. And um, and if you like this, uh, I wouldn't mind having you on at one point, actually. Uh, so throughout this, uh, throughout this soundtrack here, there's some really good stuff, by the way. And uh, the first track right away, Who's There, it got me in that kind of like it, it creeped me out <laughs> uh, type of way. But I wasn't sure. I hadn't, I didn't really get, get a grasp on on like exactly where the soundtrack is going now like track two and track three i thought i, I liked but when i when it hits to track four when it hits the morning on the brody peninsula uh then it kind of then it dawns on me exactly like kind of where this is going and how much kind of versatility we're going to uh, to get with this this is really a uh you know no no joke and you know to put it in serious a really fully deep score that's done here uh some of the standard tracks for me personally uh as i was going through just to just to put some out there uh track five storm warning's fantastic uh track seven preparing the house um we get to track 10 so it begins uh bridge closed which kind of it has it starts off to have like kind of like a friday 13th-esque type of feel to it but then it dives into its own almost operatic uh horror score uh that's uh that, that's definitely that definitely caught my attention i actually went back to like listen to that track maybe two or three times afterwards uh crossing the bridge another bridge track uh, i find i find really good uh track 24 we should probably talk about this talk this out again i really enjoyed and track 27 breakfast uh you know kind of it's a combination uh of sorts and the, and the credits track is really great as well uh and overall i love the entire soundtrack but those are the those are the ones that I, I found myself kind of going back to. So I got I just got the kind of like the press uh, version of this here uh, last night. So I was just able to like look at it, listen to it a bit before I went to bed. I actually went to bed uh, like listening to the soundtrack. And I got up today and uh, kind of dived into it uh, more in to go more in depth. I wanted to, to listen to it a couple of times before I uh, came on here to give my uh, thoughts on it. Now, where this gets even more interesting is that Andrew Scott Bell is really open with this process and if anybody that watches my channel knows that that's something that uh i really uh i really champion uh is like when creators are open with the with the process that that they use there is a track here and i want to make sure i get the right track number so uh yeah track number 29 it's actually a composer's note so we, rather than just having like like you'll get like the the booklet and all that with the write-ups and all that type of stuff in there but track 29 is a audio note from the composer pretty much we breaks down what the next few tracks are going to be why they're uh, why they're bonus tracks uh explains them but it gets better than that so basically there's three extra bonus tracks where it's uh where it's music that he thought didn't quite fit like bro kind of slowed down like worked in the film but didn't you didn't find them work as well like when you when you're listening to the soundtrack as a whole and that's the thing even though i broke down like different tracks that that are really enjoyed this is real like a, a soundtrack always should be you know put on and listen to to get the whole experience and the whole experience for this soundtrack for psycho storm chaser is is an incredible experience something that i'm not gonna lie you definitely definitely will enjoy uh so you get three bonus tracks that are basically uh, the check-in generator, which is just a 33-second, uh, like kind of like, almost like a stinger, in between um, in, in in between like two bigger tracks. We also get here because I want to get them all right. Hate for something to happen, which is runs those 29 seconds. 
a 33 minute, 33 second. Uh, we get a 29 second one, and we get like when what they learn, which is a 35 second one. And then we get into what I think is one of like the most intriguing things that I've seen done on a uh, on a soundtrack, and that is for the next five uh, tracks that we get from 33 to 37, we get voice memos from uh, from uh, Andrew Scott Bell. So basically, we're getting his process. And I think one of them is done kind of in the middle of the night when he's kind of like waking up. Basically, he gets he has the idea for. Uh, I wish I could play some of this, but I don't want to. I want to, I want you to I want you to grab this because this is really good. Uh, and this is really unique. I haven't seen this a lot. If th somebody's seen this in, in other ones, definitely let me know. But this is definitely a unique uh, concept to me. Is that not only do we get the entire like soundtrack. Uh, we get the kind of those, uh, those, those mini stingers, those, you know, those kind of, uh, joining pieces, uh, in between, we get a, an audio, like a conversation with, with the director there talking about, with the composer talking about, uh, the, uh, like why these extras are on there what, what they mean. Um, and sometimes you'll just see extras like listed on there, but having this, like having them actually like explain it and then having these done like voice memos where basically he has the idea for the, uh, for the, for the sound. So something you hear him kind of like, just kind of like you'll hum out or like the, the, the notes basically. And then it'll go into what it actually is. Um, it's really well done. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is one I'm excited to get. So, uh, if you never heard, heard of it, uh, Hopefully, this is something that uh, that gives you an idea of what uh, of what exactly is going is going to be in this. Because I can't, I was unsure going into this because I hadn't seen Psycho Storm Chase of the film yet, which I still have to uh, to go out and check out. Uh, so I was going in it, and I'm I kind of stopped myself from seeing the film afterwards because what I wanted to do was I wanted to look at this. And say, okay, I want to experience this from the soundtrack. I want to experience this film from the soundtrack alone, so that I don't have anything else that clouds my judgment, judgment, or uh, or my thoughts on uh, on the soundtrack. I want to listen to this as a soundtrack. So now I do want to go watch Psycho Storm Chaser, and I definitely will. Um, but Andrew Scott Bell did an amazing job with this soundtrack. It is definitely fully fleshed out. It it has it gets you in all the places that it, that it needs to. It starts off kind of like a harsher, but I'm, which I'm guessing of the film is kind of a, a darker aspect to it. And at first, I'm like, is it going to stay this dark? I'm not sure if I'm going to if I can be down with it just being this dark for like 28 tracks. Um, but then it, it opens up by track four. Uh, you, it starts to breathe. We start to we get we get the our size of relief basically. We get our we get our ebbs and flows when it comes to uh, when it comes to the soundtrack. Uh, it is brilliantly done, and the and the having him actually talk about it after the uh, the soundtrack, and then explain the reasoning behind the extras and putting in voice memos. Uh, that that was brilliant. That is that is a stroke of genius. That is something that I hope that we see other uh, people do in the uh, in the future. Because um, if not, Andrew, you know. Put your stamp on that because that is that is bloody genius. Psycho Storm Tasters coming up from Howling Wolf Records. Uh, keep an, keep, uh, keep updated. Once I get this, I will be doing um, boxing of this and I'll talk about it a bit more. But I wanted to get out there early and do an early review of this one here before it came out because I want to make sure that you don't miss out. Um, this is definitely a strong soundtrack uh, with some great innovative ideas. Uh, and again... I can't get over the fact that the that that he dove into like doing uh, like getting that personal with it, and as a channel that uh, that prides itself uh, on fl flinging that curtain open and getting behind the scenes on uh, the artistic side of it, um, uh, you know, on the personal side of it, to see a soundtrack that does that that like one you get this great soundtrack and then then you get this extra aspect of it that fully fleshes out not just the movie but the composer that that composed the film as well that's brilliant i am aaron 110 pick up psycho storm chaser please let me know if you do 
And if you do pick it up and uh, and you get it, uh, let me know because when I do my uh, my unboxing of it eventually, then uh, hopefully I'll, what I can do then is I can mention you guys. I'll shout you guys out the people that have picked it up in the uh, in the video when I do that. I will see you soon. This has been a cult of cinema soundtrack video and uh thank you so much for joining me because oh uh, this was fun Bet you thought I was gone, didn't you? But I'm not quite gone yet. I want to thank Andrew Scott Bell for reaching out to me and uh, giving me the opportunity to li to listen to and to review uh, the soundtrack. As a lot of you guys know, I'm a big audiophile. So when I'm talking about movies uh, and when I'm talking about things like 4K and stuff like that, I dive into the fact that, you know, 4K, is, it's not just for your eyes, it's for your ears. And... Um, that's because I have a ton of like CD soundtracks um, that I that I enjoy listening to, and uh, I have ones that I take on the go with me as well. So uh, I'm really excited to add this one to my collection, and uh, I will see you soon right here in the Call to Cinema soundtracks. <laughs>